Welcome to Dangerous Grounds Network at DangerousGrounds.network. The number one online radio network. Crazy, funny, and badass. The world's best music. Hosts that will blow your mind. No holds barred radio. Sponsored by Madison Rising. Dangerous Grounds Network. Let's get dangerous. This is Rio of Madison Rising, and you're listening to Dangerous Ground Network. Hey, you want a freedom boner or what? Listen now. What's up? This is AJ from Madison Rising, and you're listening to Dangerous Grounds Network. And if you don't have a freedom boner right now, fuck you. There's a war inside my head. Sometimes I wish that I was dead. I'm broken. This therapist And she said Girl, you can't be fixed Just take this I'm tired of trying to be normal I'm always overthinking I'm driving myself crazy Sort of I'm fucking crazy And I don't need your quick fix I don't want your prescriptions Just cause you say I'm crazy Trying to find the missing piece like you said All my friends are heathens, take it slow Wait for them to ask you who you know Please don't make any sudden moves You don't know the half of the abuse All my friends are heathens, take it slow People who have rooms of people that they love one day Dark to win Just because we check the guns at the door Doesn't mean our brains will change From hand grenades You love another psychopath sitting next to you You love another murderer sitting next to you You think that I get it sitting next to you But after all I've said Please don't forget All my friends are here It's taking slow Deal with outsiders very well They say newcomers have a certain smell Yeah, trust issues, not to mention They say they can smell your intentions You love on the freak show sitting next to you You love some weird people sitting next to you You think I did not get here sitting next to you But after all I've said Please don't forget
for the Dangerous Grounds Radio Show with your host, Big Country. What up? Alright, so we're going to lay some shit to rest today. Um, if you check this show out, go ahead and hit that share button. Get the share button. Get that show out there. Because um, this one may piss a lot of people off. That's why I didn't tag a lot of my co-hosts and stuff into this one. This one's really going to fucking tear. This one's really going to lay some shit out. <clears throat> because we're all guilty for it, either one way or another. Even myself, in some instances. Um, yeah, I've been watching, keep trying to keep up with some of the mainstream media that's going out there. Even even the shit that's not fucking right. And, uh, yeah, trying to be a positive person in everything that we do. You know, there's, there's instances where we're all wrong. You know, I'll, we'll, we'll say it once again. Guns don't kill people. Statues aren't racist. Even though, even, yes, me myself is fucking wrong for putting some things out about statues. But you know what? It, it's it, There's no excuse. It doesn't matter who the statue's about. It's not racist. We make it that way. As human beings, we're, we're, we're in com, com, we compete against one another all the time. You know, and it's not the fun competition that we used to have back in the day whenever we watched baseball games or football games or basketball games where we all sat together in one stand. You know, black, white, Asian, Mexican, Spanish, whatever you want to call it. You know, it's not the color of your skin. It's a red, white, and blue thing. A lot of these sports was born in America. So, not one question to ask. While the national anthem is being played, and we're sitting here and we're bitching about the people on the left, and we're bitching about the, the, the football and the basketball stars and the Major League Baseball players, everybody who took a knee. What's going on inside the American home? Are you sitting there on the couch, stuffing your face? Are you taking another drink of beer? Are you eating some Frito-Lays? I mean, something. I mean, come on. <laughs> Me, I pride myself on this one thing. This one thing I can say that is 100% completely fucking true is I've never sat down for the National Anthem, not once. This year. Ever since this knee has started, I've never sat down once. In the past, yes, I have. In the past, I have. That's what made me think about this is, you know what? We're just as wrong, too. For us to sit here and bitch and complain about the things that are being done on the outside, what are we doing on the inside? We can sit here and we can bitch and complain about everybody taking a knee and how disrespectful it is. But you know what? Until every American in their home can do the same thing, unless you're just unable to stand. You should be doing it too. You should be able to stand up with your family, your wife, your kids, grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, brother, sisters, nieces, nephews, whatever. And place your hand over your heart and salute it too. Because if you don't, then you don't have the right to sit there and say, you know what, it's wrong for them to do it. Because guess what? You're doing it too. There's a reason why I didn't, you know, tag some people in this. Because it's going to piss a lot of people off and I don't care because it's the right thing to do. Yes, I'm, I, like I said, I'm, I'm at fault for some of this too. That's what made me think about all this. Is, you know what, I'm no better than... Anybody else. We're not any better than anybody else. We should all be equal in the same way. Going out to the baseball games and football games and basketball games, we should all be able to stand up and hold hands and respect our flag and our country that we live in. Respect our forefathers who sit here and fought and bled for this a long time ago. You know, it, it's, you know, our freedom of speech, our freedom to write to bear arms and stuff like this. This stuff was put in place hundreds and hundreds of years ago, so that way our country could strive on, you know, going hunting to feed our families, uh, to be able to say something, you know, to be able to say something that, <clears throat> that these other dictatorships can't. You know, to sit there and say, I don't agree with the, per the person that's leading our country. If you was in another country back then, they call that treason. They cut your tongue out. 
rip your rank off your shoulders and stuff like that. Even if you were trying to help, even if you were trying to do the right thing, they would sit there and say, you know what, you have no place, you have no right. Get the hell out. And anyway, that's what our forefathers didn't like. That's why they came about and this great country has been born upon. Is being able to say and do the things that nobody else has been able to do. And yes, that everybody has that right to protest and do what the hell they want. But in the same sense, you're killing something that's great. And we all need to stop and pick up and put a band-aid on it. Because if we don't, what's going to happen to it in the future? You know, we're teaching our kids how to love and hate. But we're not teaching them the right way to love. And we're teaching them the wrong way to hate. Because we shouldn't hate nobody. We shouldn't hate nothing. We shouldn't hate each other. But we're human beings. Free will. It takes a, it takes a lot of that. You know, we're all, uh, we're all broken in some kind of way. Whether it be mentally or physically, right? This is one of my things. This is one of my famous sayings. We're either broken mentally or physically. But that's what we should use to make ourselves shine. If we were all able to do the same things, run, run fast, jump high, you know, everything that they do in sports and the military and stuff like that, if we are all able to do the same thing, then where would the competition be? Where would the fun be? Now, I walk around with a prosthetic leg and a bunch of metal on the other. It's not very easy, but you know what? It's something I pride myself on because I push myself to the limits every single day. Because I like seeing people smile, people laugh, people hugging each other, people being able to stand hand in hand and unite instead of sitting there on the controversy trying to prove who's wrong and right. Now even though you might not agree with everything that's being said today, maybe you should take a stop, step back and look at yourself and say, you know what? What do I really have to say? Where can I sit there and tell somebody else that they're wrong to make sure that I'm 100% in the right? And that's exactly what you should do, is you should be sitting there, and instead of saying, okay, you know what, you're wrong for taking a knee, how many times have you sat down on the couch watching it on TV? Even though the national anthem is being played through a radio or a box with a screen, you should still be able to stand up, put your heart, hand over your heart to salute it, because it's the exact same thing. It doesn't matter if you're 100 miles away or 1,000. If you live in the land of the U.S. of A., then you know what? You're sitting down, you're disrespecting. If you're standing up, then it's the right thing. But you need to make sure that you do it every single time that you hear it. Not just when it's convenient for you. And then you can't sit there and say, you know what, you were exactly right or you're exactly wrong for doing this unless you can live up to what you say you know the freedom of speech the freedom of right to come out and say what we want to say and do what we want to do to the limit it's it's you know nobody's 100% completely right all the time nobody nobody's completely right all the time if we was, then we'd get everything right. There wouldn't be a damn issue in this land, this country, this world. We, we'd be able to fix everything with a snap of our fingers. But, like I said, once again, that's what makes us human. Pray to who you want to pray. Live the way you want to live.